Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at how to set up a free website making use of Google Sites. Uh, we'll be setting up a basic website, uh, a site that you could possibly use as a basis for your fully functional website. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Google account, and then search for Google Sites. Click on Google Sites and then click the create button. You have two options in classic sites or in new sites. I prefer to use classic sites because it's a bit easier to, to navigate. So click on classic sites then choose a blank template. Enter your website name and as you can see over here it gives you your full website URL. Click on select a theme and then I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to choose ski and scroll down click on more options and then enter what your site will be offering to your web community. Now if you have any mature or adult content you need to click this option over here. Uh, if not you, you can just click on I'm not a robot which is one of the security features on Google Sites. Just complete the security options and then click the verify button. Give it a couple of seconds and then scroll to the top if your site name has been used Google will inform you that this uh, site is not available click on the create button this is your basic website and as you can see there's nothing really available on your website but um, I think let's just run through the user interface this is a little pencil icon which is your edit option if you click this it will allow you to edit your page uh, this is the create page button which will allow you to add another page to your website um, you can click on the more settings option which will allow you to edit uh, some additional functionalities or options within your Google Sites. So we're not publishing the site or we're not going to make the site live as yet. So for us to make sure the site is private we click on the share button and then we need to set uh, the access settings to private. So currently it says public uh, to change this to private, click on the change link and then choose off specific for people or specifically for people that has the URL to your site. To save these options, click on the save button and this is your URL to your website. Now let's click on your website name to go back to the editors view or editing view and let's go and edit your brand new website. This is the home page which is going to be your landing page so anyone that comes to your website will automatically be taken to this page. If you click on the edit button it will allow you to edit your home page. Let's add some text to your page and I'm going to keep it nice and simple and basic uh, when you create your own site you can add whatever you like. I'm going to show you how to edit the text now. I'm just highlighting the text, clicking on the drop down box next to the text size options and then I'm going to increase the size of the text. Now that the text is highlighted I'm also going to change the color of the text. Fairly easy. 
Uh, these options over here will allow you to center align or right align your text on your web page depending on what you would like your your home page to look like. When you are done, click on the save button. So let's have a look at what you've created and what it would look like to someone coming to your web page for the very first time. I'm clicking on the little gear over here, which is my more options, and I'm clicking on preview page as a viewer. This is what a visit to your website would see if they go to your website for the very first time. Okay, so what I did now, I just clicked on the tab uh, to go back to the editor's view. Let's add another page to your website by clicking on the create page icon. Okay, so I'm just going to call this the about page. And then I'm going to keep it on the exact same level as the current home page. If I choose put page on the home, it would be a sub page of the home page. And that is not what I want. So I'm going to keep it at page at the exact same level. So I'm going to click on the create button and now I have my additional page which is my about page and it's on the exact same level as my home page. I'm going to add some text to show you that it's the exact same way I, I added text early on to the previous page or to the home page. Uh, and now I'm going to insert an image. So let's click on the image tab, click on upload image I'm going to choose one of my icons that I have and then we're going to upload my image. And there you go, so now I'm just going to choose an image and then I'm going to click on the OK button. the image is now fully uploaded and it's a bit too big so I'm gonna just gonna click on the S which means I'm gonna make sure the picture goes a bit smaller if I want to increase the size one notch up I'll click on the M and if I want to go a bit bigger than that I'll go on the L for large so small medium and large I can also left align center align and right align my image There are several other tools available for customization, um, but for now I think I'm just going to stick to changing the layout of this current page. Currently it has a single column. I'm going to choose two columns. Now I have a column on the left and a column on the right. And I will now be able to s enter some text on the, the column on the right hand side. Okay, and then you know what, let's just change the, the layout to a three columns layout so you can have multiple columns and this could possibly even instead of having this as an about uh, page I could possibly turn this into a gallery where I can upload images uh, into my different columns and, uh, and just add some names to it okay so I'm just adding another image like I did earlier on the exact same process It's way too big, so I'm clicking on the S for small. And that's it. So you can add multiple pages, add some text, add some images, and when you're done, you click on Save. That was less than nine minutes.